What lies in the depths of the oceans and seas that make up our world? That's a question that's a bit more profound than you may expect, because there are all sorts of things hiding within the waters that people have been seeking out for many years. Diving is a key way of exploring our world, and people just love to take the chance and see what's down there. The twist is that they don't always expect what they find, and to that end, they're often finding mysterious things that make them wonder how they got down there in the first place. So with that in mind, here now are 20 deep sea mysteries that will freak you out. Number 20. Gulf of Mexico Shipwrecks Now it may seem a little on the nose to start out with shipwrecks, but in truth there are few better places to begin when it comes to deep sea mysteries due to how shipwrecks can happen for all sorts of reasons. And no, I'm not talking about the Bermuda Triangle, not just yet. But the Gulf of Mexico is near that infamous plot of water and it's had more than its fair share of shipwrecks over the years. According to some official sources, there could be over 4,000 shipwrecks in those waters, and that means there are a lot of items that can be studied for historical context and just to see what's down there in the first place. One of the most intriguing parts about the ventures to find these ships is that they've been found in some of the most shallow and deep parts of the Gulf. The ones that are most intriguing are the ones that were found in the deepest areas of this place. Now, how deep am I talking? How about over 2,000 meters below the surface? These are the places that are so deep that specialized craft with sonar technology had to be used in order to find the shipwrecks. At present, over 600 ships have been found in these depths, and as to where the mystery is in all of this, the question is why so many have sunk in this body of water in the first place. Plus, there's the obvious ones of what were these vessels that sunk and why did they sink? And what did they leave behind for us to look at? Like I said, there's no better way to begin this list than talking about these shipwrecks. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Take a look at this picture. I know it's not real, but it is one that sets the tone for what could be a huge discovery down the line. The picture in question is depicting a diver finding a tomb of Cleopatra, the legendary pharaoh whose resting place is one of the biggest mysteries the world has ever known. And hearing a headline like, Divers have found the underwater tomb of a powerful pharaoh would certainly turn heads. But sadly, we haven't gotten said headline yet. You may be wondering, why would the former ruler of Egypt be found underwater? The answer has to do with Cleopatra's last actions as the ruler of Egypt. She and her lover, Mark Anthony, were on the losing end of a war with a key figure in Rome, and she knew that if she were to be captured, her body would be dragged around and put on display as a kind of victory trophy, and she was having nothing of it. After unaliving herself, her loyal followers hid her body and Mark Anthony's, and they've never been seen since. The reason they could be underwater is that there have been many parts of Egypt that have sank to the depths of the nearby seas over time, and that includes places that were close to Cleopatra. One of her temples had sunk into the depths, for example. Another reason that this could be possible is that a recent discovery in a pyramid revealed that there was a massive tunnel that was perfectly crafted underground, leading from the structure to the coast where various underwater structures now reside. Plus, we've been scouring the land of Egypt for years, looking for the tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Anthony, and haven't found a thing. So, perhaps the reason we're not finding it is because we've been looking in the wrong places. Now, I'm not saying that it's definitely in the waters around Egypt, but it is possibly, and the mystery of Cleopatra will continue until her tomb and her body are found. As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag FancyTopic and let me know what you think in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Hot Tub of Despair Now we're in the Gulf of Mexico, where there is an area that is so poisonous to people and animals that it's actually called the Hot Tub of Despair. But what could make it so poisonous that nobody would want to go near it? Well, that would be because the bubbles that are in this area are full of methane and hydrogen sulfide, and the water is five times saltier than what you would get in the rest of the Gulf. So, what you get is not really a 
hot and soothing bath, but a murky brine of salt and chemicals that will make any animal keel over and wish that they had never stumbled upon this murky mess of a place. As for how this hot tub of despair happened, the gulf was once a more shallow and saltier place, but eventually that salt was brought down to the water's floor and buried. But the pressures of the earth below didn't stay that way, and as a result, the salt began to pop up alongside other gases, and the despair began to flow. In a way, the only real mystery is how many more places like this are out there in the world, and we don't have an urge to find out. I prefer a regular hot tub over this one. Number 18. Julia Sound There are many mysteries within the deep that seem to defy logic, like that of the hot tub that I just talked about. But one of the more curious mysteries that has ever emerged from the depths is that of a sound, or technically, multiple sounds, but I'll focus on one called the Julia Sound. For the record, yes, sound does travel through water, and there are plenty of sea creatures such as the whale who will send out sounds through the water and can be heard far and wide. But the Julia Sound, as it was called, was not from any whale or even a sea creature that's known. It happened on March the 1st of 1999. The sound blasted through the ocean and was picked up by the entire Equatorial Pacific Ocean Autonomous Hydrophone Array. If you don't know, that's a special array with a really super long complicated name that's used to monitor the ocean and detect odd sounds just like this one. Depending on who you talk to, that sound lasted for about 15 seconds to well over 2 minutes, and no matter the time period, it was loud, and that sound had to carry pretty far if it was to reach the entire array. And that's where the mystery comes in, because nobody really knows what made that sound. Officially, the team at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration claimed that the sound was that of an iceberg running aground, in an interesting origin, but one that raises more questions than answers. Another oddity of this mystery is that despite hearing the sound across the entire Pacific Ocean Array, we don't know where the exact origin was. You would think that an iceberg running aground would help narrow down that origin point, but it didn't. As a result, there are some who dispute this claim and think that might have been something else. Number 17. Adam's Bridge One of the most classic debates that you'll find when it comes to certain underwater structures is that of, is it man-made or is it natural? I mean, seriously, when certain things have been found underwater and they look a certain way, that question pops up quite a bit, and the case of Adams Bridge in Sri Lanka is another example of that. The bridge is a chain of natural mineral shoals between Pamban Island in India and Manar Island in Sri Lanka. As you can see, it's quite the bridge, and as a result of its location, size, and composition, people have dubbed it many things over the years, which includes being a landmark and a key place of native mythology. But where the mystery comes in is whether the bridge is truly a natural entity or whether it was made by the ancient peoples of the area. As a result, there have been many studies trying to figure out the truth of the matter. There are many factors on both sides that one would have to consider for this, which includes how that bridge is 50 kilometers long. So you would think that this would lean towards it being a natural structure, except that we know that humanity has built things that long and complex in the past. Another thing to note is that this area has been heavily affected by the natural development of the world. And by that, I mean that it's been speculated that this so-called land bridge was much bigger and connected Sri Lanka to India before things had shrunk it down. The mystery around the place is so popular that the people even decided to make a movie about it, with the main character trying to figure out if it was man-made or natural. Seems like life imitating art. Number 16. Gulf of Cambit Ruins Now, we've done plenty of small-scale mysteries that may or may not have freaked you out, but something that has happened in several places all over the world that have definitely freaked people out in the past are the discovery of ancient civilizations residing in the waters just off the coast and people not realizing it until they accidentally stumbled upon it. For example, in India, back in 2000 off the Gulf of Kambat, some ruins were found when some people were doing, and I kid you not, pollution studies. Yes, really, they were doing sonar testing when they found the ruins of an ancient city. The twist is that while it was 20 kilometers off the coast, the depth of the city was only 30 meters deep, which would imply that the waters of the area were much lower at one point in time 
and that things eventually rose to consume the area. But that wasn't the only surprise. They found regularly spaced dwellings, a granary, a bath, a citadel, and a drainage system, which means that the city was rather advanced for its age. They also found a whole lot of tools, bones, teeth, and more. Oh, and I'm still not done, as one piece of wood was dated to be nearly 10,000 years old, which would be before the oldest known civilizations in India. So, there are plenty of mysteries to unpack with that, and they're still trying to learn everything they can. Number 15. Cannibal Shark When it comes to sharks, there are many misconceptions about them that have filled humanity's minds with lies, half-truths, and complete falsehoods about how dangerous they are to humanity. Yes, shark attacks happen every year, but not as often as you may think. But what did surprise some scientists was when they found out that one of the great white sharks they tagged with a locator chip had gone missing, and then they found that chip again, and it was inside of another shark. Yes, it seems that a shark had eaten another shark. More specifically, a great white shark ate another great white shark. And that's not exactly something you hear every day. Now, naturally, the question would be, why would a shark eat one of its own? The answer is that it may have been a case of circumstances. In this case, the smaller great white attacked the bigger one, or the bigger one may have felt provoked by the smaller one, and then things just kind of went down. You guys, they dropped me so bad. <laughs> Another thing to be noted here is that this is not the first time that a shark has been accused of being a cannibal, as their ancient ancestor, the Megalodon, was said to eat its own kind if it was hungry enough. Ironically, that led to its extinction, and many wonder if great whites could actually follow in this path if the trend continues. Number 14. The Baltic Sea Anomaly Now, here's a classic deep-sea mystery that not only has never been answered, but continues to cause a lot of people to scratch their heads as to what the thing is or isn't. Long story short, a set of divers went into the Baltic Sea to look for treasure, and when they took a scan of the area, they then found a formation that was unlike anything they had seen before. Specifically, they found what looked to be a man-made structure, and yet it seemed to be a natural part of the seafloor. Ever since then, people have speculated about its origins. Claims that it shorts out electrical equipment have come out many times over, and just as important, People note how oddly similar that it looks to the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. So, what's really the truth? Well, nobody has any idea. There's a lot of debate going on about this, and there are no definitive answers that have been given. So, until there's a true deep dive into what the origins of this anomaly are, we'll just have to wait here and speculate. Number 13. Milky Seas Effect have you ever gone out on a coastline and then at night you see that there's something different going on in the water? As in it doesn't really look like the basic blue as it often does, and instead it just seems to be glowing? Or when the water crashes into the shoreline, it appears to shine brightly before fading away back into its main body. This is known as the Milky Seas Effect, and it's something that has been happening in the world's waters for generations with many people having so-called answers as to what may be causing it. The good news is that science did eventually win out, and we know what's causing it now. It's actually the water itself, or more accurately, the water inside of the water. You see, there are all sorts of creatures of microscopic sizes within the waters of the world, and some of them have a trait that is known as bioluminescence. This ability helps them to glow, and many use it to deter predators. The twist is that sometimes this is activated when agitated by something going through the water or the water hitting something else, like a boat sailing through a patch of these entities, or waves crashing up on the shore. That's when they light up and they'll fade back to how they were before. So if you do happen to see this phenomenon, consider yourself fortunate and enjoy it, because it is a beautiful sight. Number 12. Leptocephalus We're going to get a little vague with this next one, mainly because there aren't really any kind of significant records of this creature. Seriously, we had to look at the Guinness Book of World Records just to learn about the thing. And that says something. This thing is also known as the short-tailed eel. It's a very special creature that has only been found a handful of times, and they have been much bigger than other members of their family. 
It was found to be 1.9 meters long, which is why it was in the Guinness Book. And the problem is that they've never been found in large numbers, nor in their adult form. So there are questions about how big they can actually get. Given all the creatures of the ocean, it is not surprising that one such as this is mystifying people. And that's because its appearance resembles a small leaf-shaped organism with a transparent body. It does only measure usually a few centimeters in length, and they're often difficult to spot in their natural marine habitat. These things are typically found out in the open ocean and along coastal habitats, where they just drift along with the ocean current, kind of like the bums of the ocean. Number 11. Aegean Sea Ruins I've already shown you that there are many ruins in the depths of the world's waters, and some of them come from kingdoms and civilizations that existed long ago. So it should not be all that much of a surprise that some have been found in the waters off of Greece. The Aegean Sea Ruins were a source of great wonder when they were first discovered, and after being uncovered, it was found that the ruins they unearthed was that of the lost city of Cain. Cain was a small but important trade city in the ancient times between the Black Sea and the coast of modern-day Turkey. All this hot air coming up from the seabed. It was a key trade city for Greece, and some speculate that the land bridge connected the island to the mainland. There were even key battles and wars that were fought near the place, but the question remains, how exactly did it sink to the depths? The most logical answer is that it was a natural disaster which had sunk many cities over the ages, but we will likely never know for sure. Number 10. Giant and Colossal Squids Now let's go back to creatures of the deep, shall we? While we know many of what lives in the deepest depths of the ocean, we don't exactly know how they live down there. And the best example of this are the giant and colossal squids. They are the largest invertebrates in the world and are part of the reason that we have legends of the kraken and other sea monsters. But despite us knowing lots about them, scientists had no idea for a long time how they survived in the deep depths of the ocean or how they lived their lives at all. Case in point, the giant squid was not caught on camera underwater until 2004 and then not on video until 2016. As for the colossal squid, it continues to evade scientists which only enhances the mystery about what it is and how it exists. Number 9. The Ruins of Dwarka Now we're heading to the Arabian Sea, where this time we're going to talk about the Ruins of Dwarka, which is what many people are seeking in that area because of the legends that surround this ancient civilization. That's right, it's a reversal here. This is the case of people believing an ancient civilization existed and then sunk, but they just haven't found it yet. Not that this has stopped them from trying to find it, mind you. There have been many who have gone to the Arabian Sea and have found some pretty interesting artifacts that have been said to connect to the lost city. However, those findings are in dispute for various reasons. So will they ever find this lost city and be able to prove its existence? Like everything else, only time will tell. Number 8. The Bimini Road Here's another classic example of people debating whether something was man-made or not. The Bimini Road is located just off the coast of the Bahamas, and it looks like a cobbled road that stretches about 450 meters. When it was found in 1968, there would be speculation that another lost civilization had been found, as this road was anything but basic or something that you find a lot within the water. But there are many who have noted that while it may look like a paved road, it could just as easily be something that nature had cooked up over time. Especially when looking at the blocks that make up the road. Some believe it could still be something tied to an ancient culture, and some have even said it may be tied to Atlantis. But science seems to point in another direction. Take a look for yourself and see what answers that you come up with. Number 7. Underwater Crop Circles Believe it or not, crop circles are not something that only happens on the land. It's been well documented and questioned about for many years where they take place underwater. As you can see, something or someone was going into the depths and making rather beautiful circles in the sand and the ground. It's clearly too intricate to be something that the ocean made over time, especially since it kept popping up all over the place. 
So that leaves the question, what actually has caused this? The answer would be the pufferfish. It was found out that there's a type of pufferfish that does this as a sort of mating ritual. Males laboriously flap their fins as they swim along the seafloor, and that results in disrupted sediment and amazing circular patterns. It's impressive not only because of the detail, but because these patterns are sometimes over two meters in diameter. So I guess you can say that life and love just finds a way. Number 6. Lake Michigan Stonehenge It really should not surprise you at all that there are multiple Stonehenges around the world. Most of them are natural and others are man-made, and some of them pop up in places that you may not expect, like Lake Michigan. The structure itself is shrouded in mystery, not the least of which is that for the depth of the stones that were found. Plus, they are 9,000 years old, if the dating of the rocks is to be believed, and that would actually make them older than the actual Stonehenge that we'd know about in England. Another mystery is who really built this unique monument. It was clearly constructed, and so it didn't have a natural occurrence. Most would agree that the native peoples of the area may have well constructed it, but then how did it sink to become part of a now popular lake? Given all of the stuff that we found in the water so far, just how much more can the world be hiding in the depths of the waters? That's a mystery that may well never be solved. Number 5. Barrel Eye Fish How about another weird fish story, where this time we're talking about easily one of the weirdest fish you may ever see, the barrel eye fish. Why is this creature so unique? That's because it has a partially transparent head. Yes, partially, as you can see, into its skull to see its eyes and other organs. So naturally, when it was found, many had wondered what would cause such a creature to evolve into this. One of the answers was because it lived in the midnight zone. That's where the light is non-existent, and creatures had to evolve to see in their own ways, and the barrel eye fish did that by allowing its head to look upward so that it could see the predators that were within its gaze. And that made itself so much more observant to stay alive. Number 4. Cuban Underwater City Now we have another underwater city for you to enjoy, and this one is off the coast of Cuba. It's also one that caused quite the stir when it was found. It would be found rather by accident by a government survey, and once the structures that were in this city were discovered, all sorts of debates then took place, including one about it being part of Atlantis. It wasn't, obviously, but the dream does live on, Given the time frame, it would have needed to sink to the depths it was found at. Many feel that it wasn't a real city at all, but just another example of how natural erosion shapes things to seem familiar. Others are adamant that this was actually part of a lost civilization, and so the battle and debate continues to rage on. Number 3. Yonaguni Monument When I first told you about the debate of man-made underwater structures, versus naturally occurring structures, I first pictured the Yonaguni Monument. Arguably, this is one of the greatest debates that's gone on with this particular topic. This would be found in 1987 by a diver, and when he reported it, geologists and scientists descended onto the area to see what had truly been discovered, and their answers would differ heavily from one another. Many had believed that because of the artificial look of some of the places in the monument, that it had to be made by hand while others countered saying that these specific patterns and angles could be replicated by nature over time. While many are leaning more towards it being a natural occurrence, others are still fighting back, saying that it's really not that simple. This unique rock formation was located off the coast of Yonaguni Island in Japan. It's comprised of massive stone structures, including terraces, steps, and columns, and if that man-made structure idea is really true, well, it's said that it might be dated back thousands of years. Those who err on the side of it being a natural occurrence would say that it was caused by things like underwater erosion and tectonic activity, and they argue that symmetry and alignment of the rocks could be coincidental rather than an intentional construction. Whether it is a natural wonder or an ancient artifact, the monument continues to baffle people worldwide. Number 2. The Antikythera Mechanism When it comes to mysterious devices and artifacts that are found beneath the waves that people are puzzled by, 
The Antikythera mechanism is easily one of the most confounding. It was found in a shipwreck off of Greece and appears to be the world's first analog computer, and I mean that literally, as the device was to have information put into it by the ship's crew and they would get back data on all kinds of things like eclipses, the positioning of stars, and more. The mystery is exactly how the Greeks were able not only to make the thing, but to make it so accurate. It could give you answers that were well beyond the lives of those on the ships, and yet nobody has a clue what led them to create it or how they got it to be so finely tuned. Number 1. Deep Sea Purple Blob How's that for a title to end things? Found in 2016 off of the Channel Islands near California, divers were able to get a video of a weird purple blob that had no issues going around the water that it was in. Now, as you can tell by its shape, it is a blob that was almost crystalline in its figure. They were able to grab the creature, and after a quick look, they felt that they had found a unique version of a sea slug. While that is kind of cool, it did not solve all of the mysteries, which includes how it was purple, which is an unnatural sea color for these kind of creatures, and how it developed to be such a unique form. Well, that's all from the realms of the deep and the many mysteries that lie within them. Were you amazed by the things that were discovered by divers in these depths? And which of these mysteries and items surprised you the most? Maybe there's one that you think would lead to a new discovery down the line. As always, you can let me know in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.